Funny to think that we thought that the second day was the hardest day. What I see on the map here looks pretty tough. We got some C2 slash C3 rapids, whole bunch of rapids coming up. Some falls we have to pull over and portage around. A ledge we have to portage, another falls, another falls, a whole bunch of portages. And then a two and a half kilometer portage around a deadly gorge. I thought maybe after getting through long rapids i'd feel like less anxious but no i don't i feel very much like we still have a lot on our plate and a lot ahead of us looking forward to today though should be fun Ooh. well play i got a pizza disc i tried to make what john made I'm supposed to fold it that makes sense The guidebook says start from left and come right in high water and then right and left on low water. But I don't see either of those lines. What I see is coming right up through here, through the middle, and then to the left side. So I think that's what we're going to do. Of the wrong rock. I went on the inside of the wrong rock. Did you see that? Yeah. I like watching you do rapids. You do them so like gently Slowly. and effortlessly. Yeah. It's our style. It's like true to our personalities too, right? Yeah. Like you're fast and I'm slow. Yeah. Yeah. Now it works. Slab Rock Falls is ahead, so we have a mandatory portage. set of rapids then a mandatory 100 meter portage and then we're going to call it for the day because we're feeling pretty tired it's starting to rain and uh yeah we definitely need some rest we're both really feeling it so
For dinner tonight, I'm having butter chicken pie. We just took a butter chicken pie from the grocery store, dehydrated it, mushed it up, and uh, put her in the bag. I'm gonna put her in the pot. It's gonna be like a mashed, mashed potato type thing. A little runny, a little wet, but it's mine and I find it delicious. Yeah, it worked out well. So we made camp around four, probably just after five now, maybe 5.36. God, I don't know. Early, early. We're expecting rain overnight into tomorrow and we're both just feeling pretty beat. So oh, it's a good thing we stopped. We're quite happy with that. We need some rest and uh, why not rest it out during the rain, so that's what we're doing. breakfast, steel cut oats with blueberries, a bit of dehydrated yogurt, and maple syrup, and then some coffee. So today we're taking on Pakistan Rapids. It starts off with a couple sets of rapids that we're possibly able to run. Then Fun Falls, which is a 20 meter portage. It can be runnable. You'll see if we're capable of doing that. Then it's about five mandatory portages. And then that takes us to Ringham's Gorge and the two pants portage. Ringham's Gorge is a narrow, very complicated set of rapids that continues for a couple, like a kilometer, maybe longer. And then it ends with a couple waterfalls. Our skill level is not adequate to run that. Other people do run that. We're not, so we have to take the two pants portage, which is a 2.5 kilometer long portage bushwhack. Maybe not a bushwhack, but it's not a super straightforward portage, so. We're hoping to get to Ringham's Gorge and the Two Pants Portage by the end of today. Maybe start clearing trail, setting up camp there, and then tackling that tomorrow. And we're off. How's that feel? Good? Yeah. yeah, great. I'm gonna ferry across this section if I can. If not, I'm probably just gonna have to run it. Looks good. Nice, dude. Okay, go. You can keep going. Yeah, go, go for it. That was a uh, that was a big ledge. Yeah, it was good. I took on a lot of water. How about you? Yeah.
Easy. Yeah. <laughs> That's so we're at Fun Falls and apparently you can run this. And there is like a big catch basin over here, which is good. But that's like a good meter and a half, two meter drop. So uh, I don't know if I'll be doing that in my canoe. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Should we go down there? Yeah. I'm gonna run it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So, so the plan is I'm going to portage all my loose stuff and me and Dad are going to take turns running it. To say I'm not a little bit nervous would be a lie. To say I'm not extremely excited would also be a lie. Okay. Alright, I'm ready. It's a lot of volume. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Pow! Powerful baby, powerful baby. Dude, you ran that so well. I, I came in too close. <laughs> There's a lot of water in the boat. Yeah, it's tippy, eh? Yeah. I, uh, I came in too far to the left. I knew I wanted to clear the right, but uh, I overcompensated, but found the, the tongue right at the end. I saw that. It was close. It was close. Got it. It's pretty big. Day one just destroyed my confidence. Yeah. And today I feel like I built it back up. Definitely. It's a really good feeling. Definitely. Man. I felt incompetent on day one. It was so disheartening and like, yeah. But there's only one way to fix that. Yeah, the big water is a little easier than all those rocks and, you know, narrow. Yeah, that was very difficult. Like, this there was so the, much room for error there. The first day? Yeah. Very much. It's been the smallest part of the river and it's probably the most margin for error, or the least margin for error. 200 meter portage, then 300 meter portage, then a 250 meter portage, then a 100 meter portage, then a 250 meter portage. The trick to eating sandy food is you don't chew it. <laughs> <laughs> right down the gullet. <laughs> like a seagull. <laughs> suits is they keep the wet out but they also keep the wet in and we were both sweating quite a bit so the wet is definitely in how do you feel 
the moisture in, none out either. <laughs> I feel so wet. For whatever reason, you're making me feel wet too. Okay. So we're at the 2.5 kilometer portage, uh, two pants portage around Righam's Gorge. It's easy to miss. We're here though, and didn't miss it. Could have, could have been really easy. I think for saving us from going down Righam's Gorge, I'm trip leader, expedition leader. All right, as long as I can be expedition captain. Expedition captain. No. Yeah. As expedition lead, I'm saying no. No, you're expedition leader, but I'm expedition general. Okay? Uh, uh, I really don't know army ranks. I'm not really sure what's best. I'm the five-star general. There's been so many moments on this trip where it's been, just after this next stage, I'm gonna be nice and relaxed. Every single day it's been like, just after this day, I'm gonna be nice and relaxed because it's all, all easy sailing from here on out. I feel like we're doing that again with this Two pants portage, because uh, just after this next 2.5 kilometer portage, it'll be nice and relaxed again. I feel pretty beat down from today. We're still gonna portage our canoes tonight. Maybe not all the way, but yeah. Yeah, might as well. I'm tired. Fuel for the hike. Wow. <laughs> That's wow. That looks great. Easy to impress. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry. Okay. Mmm, right. that smells good. Mm -hmm. Smells like garlic bread and cheese. It always, it always tastes good. You're smart man, John. We're gonna start the two pants portage tonight by carrying our canoes, and then tomorrow we're gonna do two light loads. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but it's gonna save our backs and uh, just make this whole 2.5 kilometer portage um, that much more enjoyable. So we got our canoes mostly to the end of the two pants portage and I finally figured out why they call it the two pants portage. Because you need three pairs of pants to do the portage. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> Night John. Good morning, John. Good morning. How you doing? doing good. Good morning, everyone. Just gonna use it as a walking stick. Cool. Thank you. Back on two pants portage. We're doing two loads today. We already got our canoes across, so really evening out the load and making it nice and easy for ourselves. This is Ringham's Gorge. You don't want to run that. That's a 10 meter falls right there. Death, 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 death. You can run it up to a certain point and then portage around, but 
that's not within our skill level, so we are doing the 2.53 kilometer portage around. Turned out to be about 3,000 meters, three kilometers. Just over four hours from camp, plus the portaging we did last night. Oh, it's lunchtime. So nice to be back on the river. Finally! 24 hours later. We are absolutely ripping. Beautiful. Sure is. As beautiful as you, though, John. Shut up. I like what you mean to me. Love it, love it, love it, love it. This is what I wear on a typical day in the woods. Got my inReach, my saw, my bear spray, my thermosel, and my knife, all on my right hip, ready to go. Boom, cut some cheese. Boom, get that black fly in the face. Bear, boom. Spray that bear in the face. Branches, boom. Saw those branches off. Boom. Wife messaging me on Garmin. Got it. Day in the life, baby. Day six. The famine rations are dwindling. I'm starting to look at my companion John as a source of food. The hunger's really setting in. It's getting extremely serious. I might have to kill him and eat him. Here he comes. Say goodbye to the black fly. Tonight for dinner, uh, we're just doing lasagna. I'm doing a regular lasagna, dehydrated at home, and John's doing the vegetarian lasagna. Lifesaver right here. This is wonderful, thank you. Oh, I miss my food, but you're making it uh, very easy for me. And I'll repay you somehow. You can't possibly repay me for this. That's true. No more precious resource out here, especially when you don't get fish for dinner when you hope to. I have food left, but not a, not a ton. It's all good. I'll, I'll definitely need some of Xander's. So no, we're we're going through both. Appreciate it. We're going we're gonna go through my food and your food, and we'll be good. Yeah. No, we'll be okay. Yeah, we've been snacking a lot for lunches instead of full meals. Ate a couple good meals of fish, and we'll eat fish tomorrow. And we might have to eat John. We might have to. I could 
The left arm isn't that useful. Neither is your right. I'd eat your face first, though. <laughs> That's sick. Thank you. Thank you. How is it? Great. Yeah? Yours? That's good. I feel like at every obstacle on this trip, we've been like, as soon as we're done it, we'll feel good. As soon as we're done Long Rapids, we'll feel relief. As soon as we're done Puckasa Rapids, we'll be able to relax. As soon as we're done the two pants portage, things will be in the clear. I feel that way right now. We have uh, a C3 that we have to run tomorrow. It's called Gorge Rapids with potentially high water uh, and no portage. We could potentially line it or lift over at a certain point, but definitely a big question mark. So that's what I'm thinking about now. Um, other than that, we have two portages tomorrow and then will be finished. 12k left of the river, then we're on to Lake Superior. I think we're both looking forward to that, so. Just gotta get done with Gorge Rapids. There are some truly phenomenal moments in nature. It's just about being in the right place at the right time and being patient. You get to experience more of those moments the more you're out there, and the more patient you are. Only two more portages left, and then that's it for the trip. We're hopefully gonna be on Lake Superior tomorrow, so looking forward to that. But we have to deal with Gorge Rapids tomorrow, which I'll admit I'm a little apprehensive of. saw the northern lights last night and they were beautiful, beautiful. I've never seen them up above our heads like that. That was so cool. John woke up to take a whiz and then he called me out of my dreams and into the real life where my dreams became reality. And I saw a really beautiful display of the northern lights. Great moments. <laughs> nice start to the day. Woo! I don't know what the chances of that sun coming up through the valley like that are, but by God, this campsite is magical. Yeah, baby.
<laughs> this is dehydrated chili rehydrating on tortillas with cheese and green onions. We're doing breakfast burritos. That's great. That's a good burrito. On the left is the Pakasa River, which we came. On the right is the East Pakasa River. We are currently at the confluence of the two, which means that hen henceforth the river has doubled in size. Amazing. This is Gorge Rapids, class three. Mandatory run over line. What about Eddie on the left there? Eddie on the left. I don't think we run the corner. No? No. We can maybe eddy out right after those big waves. Yeah. It'll be hard to eddy there though. We can run down the right side. The right side? Yeah. I think the V might be easier up the left. Yeah. I don't think we have to run it all the way to the end. Okay. I'm gonna get through this white stuff. Is that cool? Nice, John. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, baby. That was awesome. How was that? Good. Good, man. You handled that really well. Thanks. Thank you. Big waves, eh? Yeah. I think we ferry over to this left side here. Okay. You've been practicing your ferrying? <laughs> Are you ready? I'm going to back up and I'm going to ferry over. You can run it. It's runnable. Okay. Carry on? Yeah, let's carry on. Beep, beep. Of your uh, front ferry, and then you're just like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely have to work on that. You gotta work on that. Oh. Awesome, man. That's so fun. You did it. That was really good. We ran that really well, like just 
eddying and, and reading and as we went. Yeah. It was awesome. Getting there. Sweet. Now a uh, one kilometer long portage around the falls and we are on to Superior. That feels great. Nice. This is the takeout right here. That's a huge waterfall. Tricky. Here. This marks the end of the Pukasa River, the beginning of Lake Superior, and our second leg of the trip. Nice. That's a tough river, man. That was a tough river. I am ready for the next step. A little bittersweet because that was a lot of fun and I feel like we've learned a ton, but it's nice to start at the second part of the trip. Such relief, man. It is. Such relief. Finally on Superior. Pungasa River behind me. New fishing adventure awaits. Lake Superior, the largest lake in the world. 